Okay, YouTube, what's going on? Um, it's Sunday. Um, it's time for my weekly vlog. And I saw in the comments that one of you guys wanted me to do, like, a gaming area vlog and, like, the equipment I use and how I got into YouTube and that kind of thing. So I decided to do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing here today. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to start over on the other side of my room. So like over here, um, this is my old desk that I use for like doing homework and stuff on now. In here, I just have a bunch of old equipment. I actually have my old microphone, my original blue snowball microphone. That if you guys don't, if you guys are looking to get into YouTube and you guys need a good quality mic and you guys don't have like Astros or anything like a stand mic yet and you guys want one, Get a blue snowball, they run around 80 to 100 bucks. You can get it, I got mine at Guitar Center. Um, good mic, worked great for a while. And then I just got Astros, and yeah. So now to get into where I game at now, which is right here. Uh, I use a little table like that. If you watch Optic, you know about that. So you know, you know, you know. So yeah, um, my controller, I ordered a scuff two weeks ago, today, um, it'll be in soon, I guess, I don't know, it's still printed, so it's, I'm waiting on it to be made, actually, I don't know if it'll focus, but right there is the comment, yeah, so Christian, thanks for making the comment, buddy, um, thanks for watching. Um, and for those of you that are watching, you know, keep, you know, you guys can comment with the video ideas. This was an ALC monitor. It's really, really bad, but it worked good. It works good, kind of-ish. I bought it from Walmart for a hundred bucks. I had to order, like, a $10 adapter from, um, Amazon. If I can find it, I will, if I can find the adapter, I will show you guys in the next part of the vlog um my retainer case because i had braces and i have to wear a retainer my iphone 4s that i check emails and that on i mean sometimes my remotes i take medicine from concussions because i used to play football my keyboard because my cousin spilled water on the original on the killing my computer my nice hp mouse mouse pad um, really, you don't need any, like, expensive mouse and keyboard, like, a lot of pros have, like, Razer stuff, like, I wanted to get a Razer, you know, mouse and keyboard, but that's not necessary, you know, this stuff works perfect, and, I, since I play Xbox, that's my 360 sitting right there, I'm getting an Xbox One, hopefully for Christmas, um, I use an Elgato, which is sitting right there. So, hope you, yep, yeah, that's what I use to record all my gameplays that you guys will be seeing over the next week. This was a Samsung monitor I ordered off of Amazon. Samsung. Um, I will have a link, the Amazon link, in the description below. Or, yeah. In the description, if you guys would like it. If you guys would like this specific monitor, this is the 1MS monitor, it's about 180 bucks. Um, a little more expensive, but it's better. My Astro A40s, my babies. Like, whatever I'm not using, they're hanging on my monitor. Because it's the safest place for them. Um, and then my mix amp. This little pride and joy here. Allows me to basically kind of split it between my Xbox and my computer. To where I can, I can be in an Xbox party. Okay with my computer you know streaming listening to music so I can be recording so I can use that as like my Skype mic too which I love so it's it's a really good headset can of compressed air for cleaning some stuff out this coke can I found share a coke zero with a gamer pretty cool can of coke I got um, Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost, pretty much the only two games I play. And down here, I got Grand Theft Auto, Halo 4, right there, and then Modern Warfare 3. 
right there. And then control freaks, I don't really use them, but I have them. Actually, um, one of my teammates wants them, but yeah. And then my Xbox, my hats that I wear almost every day. I have more games over there, but I'm going to be getting rid of those to um, put on to my Advanced Warfare so I can get Advanced Warfare whenever it comes out. And yeah, it's really about it. It's like all the equipment I really use. So anyway, um, that's really kind of about it. I mean, sorry, I accidentally hit the pause button, but I mean, I have spent a lot of money in my gaming area path in a little bit. So I'll talk to you guys more about that in the next part of the vlog. So talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, I am back. So, the next part of the vlog will kind of be like how I started YouTube. Um, so, one a couple years ago, not this past year, but the year before, I asked my parents if I could get a Roxio HD Pro because basically I saw it in an MLG ad after I watched COD Champs. I watched COD Champs and I went and watched Nate Shot's stream and I watched the tournament and I saw the Roxio HD Pro is what was used. So I went and I wanted one basically because I thought it was like the next greatest capture card ever. And whenever I got it, it was good. That's what I used to start my first channel off of. And I, I was horrible at Call of Duty. Um, it was not very good, but I played a lot. And... Basically, I wouldn't upload a lot because no one watched my videos, and then I just, one day, it's just, I met some friends who YouTubed, and then just like one day, it kind of just clicked with me, and I made a new channel, that's where this channel came from, and I just kind of, I've been uploading every single day, unless I've either had something come up within my family, I've been, I haven't... I've been sick to where I couldn't play video games or record a vlog to let you guys know, hey, I'm sick. I can't play video games. I can't stream. Um, and things like that. Or school has kind of taken over like that day. Or I've had technical difficulties that my mix amp went out. My snowball broke. You know, things like that just happened. And, you know, and... A lot of things kind of went into me really starting YouTube as like a true passion. Um, for one, watching Nade Shot, he's like one of the real, real reasons why I started YouTubing. Um, he he showed that like g going from McDonald's to working at McDonald's as a teenager to being a professional gamer and doing what he loves to to do just gave me that drive to do it and basically like I'm gonna have to get a job like whenever I turn 16 like because I'm 15 that's obvious I'm gonna have to get a job and work but it's fine with me I don't mind getting a job and working I mean it'll all work out in the long run because I have more money to spend on like upgrading the stream and that kind of thing but I saw that I could, if I wanted to take gaming, competitive, like, gaming and that as, like, because I had just quit sniping and became a competitive player whenever I started YouTubing, um, I realized that if I wanted to really take competitive gaming and make that my career and be able to do it for a job whenever, like, become a pro at it, I had to YouTube, I had to stream, and basically it's just the drive to be a professional Call of Duty player is what's made me become, like, has made me want to YouTube, basically. So, if you guys are wanting to start YouTubing, my tips for you um, are... Start small, don't spend a whole lot of money off the start. I used my grandma's laptop, which 
she pretty much let me use. She was the only computer in the house at the time, so I pretty much owned it. Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, which is like $95. Um, a Blue Snowball, which is like 100 bucks. And, you know, so start small. Don't spend all this money off the start. You know, wait until your channel kind of starts to grow and show some possibility. Or, like, grow and, like, you know, prosper. And then go out and start spending money here, money there on things. And, you know, it'll eventually all come and you'll get things on the right track and start growing. Um, another thing is, like, if you have a Twitter, tweet out your videos. Become friends with people. Like, I'm friends with people and I link them my videos on Skype and they'll like it and they'll put it on their Twitter and vice versa with their videos with me so you know it's just kind of things like that so another tip is um have like a schedule whether like mine is every day so like a lot of my viewers know i upload every day and i don't have a, a specific time every day but they know i upload every day if i don't upload every day i usually post why on twitter so that's another good way is just be in contact and read comments and if you get a tweet saying like hey do this or I think you should do this or and that kind of thing it take advice from people and also don't take hate negative take it as motivation because the minute you start taking hate to heart is the minute YouTube will start to suck because streaming and YouTubing is full of hate so basically, this is, this is going to be the end because this is a really long kind of vlog type of thing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope this is what, hope this answered a lot of questions for you guys. I hope this helps you guys possibly want to start your own YouTube channels. If you guys have any other questions, um, you guys can put it in the comments below or tweet me. My Twitter's in the description below. Um, but yeah. And the questions in the comments will get answered in next week's vlog. So, just saying, like, I'll write them down and be like, yeah, I'm going to answer those. I'm going to try to answer almost all of them unless they're just retarded-ass questions. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you do, if you enjoyed, um, um, remember to check out all the links in the description. As always, and bye.